put on your own oxygen mask first. So that's the title of the eighth chapter of my book and part of the cornerstone material that I want caregivers to embrace. It's another way of saying take care of yourself. Hello, I'm Dr. Renee Harmon. I'm the author of Search Surfing the Waves of Alzheimer's. It's a teaching memoir about my husband Harvey and his life with younger onset Alzheimer's disease, how it affected him, me, and our family during the eight years that he lived with the disease. It's structured around teaching principles. Each of the chapters is titled one of the caregiving principles that helped to keep me balanced during my years as a caregiver. So this week is put on your own oxygen mask first. And I think it's really appropriate that we talk about this now as we're approaching the holiday season. How can we apply this principle during the holiday season? In the book, I focus more on um, how I took care of myself. Um, I, because I was a caregiver, I knew that I had to maintain my good health in order to be a good caregiver. So I continued good health practices, but I also took care of my emotional and my spiritual health. I journaled, I saw a counselor regularly, I took many vacations by myself or with different family and friends, but I also continued to do the things that had previously brought me joy, adapting them so that I could be with Harvey when I was doing them rather than just tucking myself away in my studio or by myself somewhere. But how are we going to apply this teaching principle during the holidays? I think it boils down to resetting your expectations for your loved one and for yourself and conveying those new expectations to friends and family. So first let's look at how this this um, holiday season might be changed because of a loved one's diagnosis. You'll have to realistically assess what can they actually do. Can they still cook? Can they still shop for presents? Can they still attend religious services? If not, how can you adapt that to their current abilities? And it's going to change from year to year. It's not going to be the same. Um, and you'll You'll understand that as time goes on, but it's really hard to break with long-standing traditions. This is putting on your own oxygen mask first. Secondly, you're going to have to change the expectations for yourself because caregiving is a top priority for you. It takes a lot of time, time away from what you would maybe normally do in holiday preparations. So maybe you just cannot do the big meal prep, to do the big present shopping that you used to do. You're gonna to have to change expectations for yourself as well because your time is more limited. And again, it's gonna change from year to year and you're gonna to have to also maybe make some adjustments during the holiday as you realize that this is not gonna work. Um, I'm gonna to have to make some adjustment if you or your loved one is unexpectedly exhausted by the holiday. This is putting on your own oxygen mask first. And thirdly, you're gonna to have to convey these new expectations to friends and family. Family that might be very entrenched in doing holiday the way they always have done it and they just don't wanna make a change. You're gonna to have to be firm and not be persuaded by, by others outside who, who want to continue things the way they always have been. You're gonna to have to, again, convey these new, the new reality for your, of your loved one and the new time constraints for yourself with love and kindness. And with COVID-19 still wrecking havoc in our lives, simplicity and changing our plans to something more manageable than the usual holiday craziness is actually really good for all of us, I believe. This is putting on your own oxygen mask first. So take a deep breath, put that max oxygen mask on and deep breathe in all the oxygen that you can. Be well and keep your balance. Thank you.